I love them and they love me. Okay, I'm ready. Mega! Hey church, I'm Vanessa and this is John and welcome, welcome to, to GT, GT Connect. Connect. This Thursday in youth group, we're having an outdoor bonfire and movie, weather permitting. Otherwise, it'll be an indoor movie. So, invite your friends. It's going to be awesome. We're going Disney Fort Wilderness Camping October 8th through 11th, and you can come for two, three, or even four nights. Space is very limited, so get your deposit in as soon as possible to reserve your spot. You can call the church office or see Dale Chapin. We're having a prayer night at GT Church, Thursday, August 13th at 7 p.m. Join Wade and Christine Schaefer for that time of prayer. We're all going to meet in the choir room, and everyone is invited. Our GT Connecting Points ministry is going to Alaska in 2021. Join Pastor and Miss Karen for a 10-day cruise and land tour. It's going to be May 16th through 25th. Reserve your spot because spaces are limited. You can call the church office for more information. Our online ministries are growing here at GT Church. Check out our Facebook page Monday through Friday at 12.30 for prayer. We have Wednesday night Bible study at 7. And Thursdays at 10.30 we have prime time. Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Pastor Maddie does a story for the kids. And you can always join us on Sunday at 10.45. Well, that's all we got. Thanks for watching GT Connect. And, and we'll, we'll see you next week. week. Hi, my name is Ginger. I'm here to give you a testimonial. First of all, I want to thank my GT family. My GT family has been there for me throughout this journey that I'm going to share with you in just a couple minutes. I am so thankful for friends that believe in me, that have helped me so much. I remember one of the girls in choir leaned over and said to me when we found out that I had cancer, she said, God told me to tell you, be still. And when she said, be still and know that I am God, there was just the beautiful, beautiful Holy Spirit come right through my body. I'll never forget that day. But through this journey these last eight months have not been easy. Having cancer is hard. It's not an easy road. But I had a friend of mine say to me, I've never heard you say, why me? And I said, why not me? There's no reason to feel that way. There's always a reason. God has a reason for everybody's journey. And with my journey, he taught me so much spiritually how important he was in my life, even when I was alone, even when I had time for worshiping in my home. And just to this moment, he's still close to me. He is my friend. He's my overcomer. He is my healer. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. And I just want to thank him for touching my life. And if there's someone that's listening to this or watching this, and if you're going through a trouble or if you're going through sickness, God is there for you. He loves you. I am thankful in standing here in this moment saying, God said, and the surgeon has said, and the oncologist has said, I am cancer free. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. I thank him so much. Is my journey over? Not yet. There's still a few more things that I have to do medically, but I am cancer free. Praise his name.